that which had a positive value because the line under the curve is symmetric. So this table says that where it have shaded from the table, we have the shaded region here, okay? Anything that falls within the shaded region will be rejected. So although these values here you see are negative, let's ignore the negative and use it to find the p-value of the test statistics that we have computed. So I'm saying that the value to two decimal places is what? 2.04. If it is 2.04, then I come to the Z, under Z here, there are values here, this one, just under the Z. Those are the critical or the test statistic value that we have. Then up here, we have the corresponding decimal values. Yeah, Ellie, please, Sam, ask your question quickly. Yeah, please, sir, uh, when, when do we use the negative values and when do we use the positive values, please? Say that again. When do we use the negative and the positive? When do we use the negative? I'm saying that it doesn't matter if your Z text, Z text statistic can be positive or negative. But you can use the same value, irrespective of what value the z-test is, whether it is a positive value or a negative value, because the line under the normal distribution are symmetrical. If they are symmetrical, guy, look here, I just explained this. I said if this is my normal distribution line, this is zero. These are the negative side, okay? This is the positive side means that if this is symmetrical, I can use the negative distribution table to find the value for the positive. All I need to do is ignore the what? The positive, the negative. Okay. Uh, we have another table I will share with you, which also says that all these sides have been shaded. So in that case, what you are interested in is to find your B value of the test statistic. What we computed is 2.04. And I say that this is negative because the shaded region, which is the cumulative probability, is on the left-hand side. Means that all the critical value or the test statistical values are negative. But I can use the same table to find my probability value because the probability value I'm finding is positive, not negative. So the first two number, is 2.0 okay if it is 2.0 i'm here that's what i've shaded 2.0 that's corresponding under the z is this one if what you've computed is 1.42 you also come here down here this is 1.4 shaded here two is somewhere here this guy here this one this is two so where they intersect, which is this value here, is our p-value. That's all it means. Then I'll compare this p-value to the alpha value, which is already given as 0 0.05. In our case, we are looking for 2.04, approximate to two decimal places. This is 2.0, forget about the negative. There is 0 0.04, when you add, 2.0 plus 0 0.05, you get 2.04. Where do they intersect? They intersect at this point. And that number is 0 0.0209. So all we are trying to say that from what we have, our corresponding p-value for 2.039 is equal to 0 0.029. Let me erase this side. Two seven, please. Two seven. Oh, two seven. Okay, thank you. Two seven. Seven. So zero point zero two seven. Now, 
what we said is that the questions say use the p-value approach okay therefore i'm comparing i'm going to reject ho if my p-value is less than 0 0.05 or less than alpha my p-value is 0 0.027 alpha is 0 0.05 which is greater of course so this is less than that now because this is less than that my statement is that we will reject ho if i reject ho what will be the conclusion the conclusion is that this is what we are rejecting that the mean is less than or equal to 3173 if this is not there then we can say that the conclusion is that indeed the mean credit card value for the student keeps what increasing that's what the statement has test based on that um, where is it conclude that the mean credit card balance for undergraduate students has continued to increase over the past what yes and because we have reached we have rejected the ho okay it means that we are saying that let's reject the null hypothesis this is the p-value approach my dear friends then the other approach is that we have the, let me use the same to explain the critical value and i said the critical value we are comparing uh z z test statistics Z test value, okay, and the Z critical value. And we'll hear we are using the table to find the Z critical value. What we have computed for the Z test statistic is 2.039. Now, if you have alpha to be 0 0.05, you know it is the reverse of the p-value. Now use the alpha to find the z critical value here compare that to the z word test statistic i'm pausing here if you have a question please ask this is not what i'm teaching today but can you go through the critical um well, the, the second approach again the critical value approach says that once you have computed your test statistic okay and you have alpha given now you to go and use the table to find the corresponding alpha value which is the critical value and compare that to the test statistics the reverse of the p-value approach so our test statistics is 2.039 we have alpha this is a probability value we need a real value corresponding to these alpha. And that is what we call the Z critical. So pick the table. Now go and find the Z critical value that corresponds to 0 0.05. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So um, I want to ask, mm -hmm. so if you compare and it is greater than or it's greater than the um the z the 2.039 mm -hmm. then you make your conclusions based exactly. on that exactly okay any other question okay so let's pick the table again and here you are still going to use the table okay i'm going to pick this table again and as i said ignore the negative for now this time around you have inside here you have a probability value of 0 0.05 you want to find it corresponding z critical value that's what it means so as i tell my students when you pick the table now go through the entire table here and look for 0 0.05 can somebody look do that for us look for 0 0.05 approximately 0 0.05 inside 
Then you trace it horizontally to where the Z are and trace it vertically upwards to where the decimals two are. That will give you your Z critical value. Uh, is it okay up to this stage? Yes, sir. Good. So, I think I see it at 1.6. You see 1.6 somewhere, right? No, I see that 0 0.05 at mm -hmm. um, the V of 1.6. Good. So, so at horizontally, that is the, what this guy here, that's what he tell you. Then you move vertically upwards to. What value do you see there? Zero point zero four. Zero point zero four. 0 .04. So when you add these two together, what will you have? One point six plus zero point zero four. Two point zero. Oh, oh, please, please. Don't don't bastardize mathematics. Please one. One point six four. One point six four. One point six four. Point six four. Perfect. Yeah. So it says that back to what we are trying to uh, discuss here. Maybe I have to do a tutorial with you other than I will finish this class today. And today will be my last time meeting you. But we have to schedule for another mm -hmm. meeting better that, okay? I'll try and make uh, okay. time to schedule for another meeting. But I have two more topics to teach. Sure. For people, okay. they are not helping you guys. I understand, but it's not my problem. So the corresponding alpha is 1.64. So for 0 0.05, the Z critical value from our table is 1.64. Now yeah. I'm going to compare these two guys. Let me try and erase this part for you. And let me say that today I didn't go to the office. I'm home teaching. So if you hear kuchu kuchu, just bear in mind that my location is coded. Okay. So guys, see, now we said 2.039. We are comparing it to 1.64. Now tell me, obviously this is greater than that. One of the rules says that if the Z critical, Z test statistics is greater than the Z critical, let me write here Z test. This is Z critical. If Z test statistics is greater than Z critical, we reject the null hypothesis. Hello, sir. Yes. Please, what session is this? Which session? What do you mean which session? We've been trying to solve an example. You're also asking session. I don't know until I say, who will me here and who will be such a session? Which session am I teaching? Can, yes, we, sir. can, can we go on? Yes, sir, please. Yes, sir. Can I go on, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, please. So yes, please, I'm saying sir. that is the Z test statistics is greater than the Z critical? Yeah, Mabu. Reject H O. Rosum, Rosum, bra. Eh, who's that? If the Z test statistics is less than Z critical, we fail to reject H O. Do you follow? But this is our problem we are solving. It means that 2.039 is greater than 1.64. So we reject the null hypothesis. Then we write our conclusion. Because we have rejected the null hypothesis, which is this guy here, we can conclude that the mean credit card value for the undergraduate student keeps increasing. That is what the question is asking us. I'm pausing here. If you have any problem, ask me. Then I'll do another example using the T-test. Then I can start the class today. Sandra Zomelo, is it okay now? Yes, please. 
Okay, uh, my friend who just said I should, which section I'm teaching. This is section 10. Can I go on with the other example? Yes, sir. Okay. But so that do you understand this? Can you teach your friends exactly what you have discussed? Uh, yes, I, I can. You will try. I can. Yeah, I'll try. Okay, yeah. so now you understand why we use a Z test because of the sample size. Yes, 